Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bugger Designs and I've got a fun little treat box for you. I actually saw this idea on Stampin' Up's Facebook page. Um, one of the artisans made these cute little skinny boxes and I thought, wow, that is so easy. So I had to give it a try. Um, and I'm using the Silly Goose stamp set, which is in our spring catalog, carrying over to the annual catalog. And I've got some sneak peek products in here. New color, new paper. Um, inside the box, you guys, I have leftover <laughs> um, eggs. I thought, hey, it's a goose. Why not use these leftover Easter candy eggs? But if you don't have candy Easter eggs, or it's maybe like July or something when you make this, Hershey Kisses would work just fine. Um, little Reese's Peanut Butter Cups would fit in here just fine as well. Um, the box is one inch by one inch all the way around. Okay, let's make our box first. Now, I wanted to show you some color comparisons. Um, this box right here uses um, one of our new colors called Berry Burst. And this is another one of our new colors um, called Bubble Bath. And I couldn't decide which color to use. I actually made this box first in Bubble Bath and it it's a mistake, it's a little bit too long, but I wanted to show you the comparisons. This paper that we're using has lots of our new colors in it. And a lot of the patterns, if I can get it picked up, um, would would go with both of these colors. Um, and also, if you don't want to use pink, maybe you're making this for um, a boy or something, there's a lot of blues and greens in here too. So this paper is called Bright and Beautiful, and it's like a party-themed paper, but it's just a lot of good basic patterns as well. All right, we're going to use polished pink this time, and this is four and a half by eight. And I'm going to score the short side at one two, three, four, turn it and score it at half, one and a half, and seven. Now grab your bone folder and burnish those lines. Make them nice and crisp so your box will be nice and square. Okay, so now we've got this skinny edge right here, the skinny um, tab on this end. We're gonna cut off the ends of that and then cut that at an angle. This is the tab that's gonna we're gonna adhere on the inside of our box. All right, now we're gonna cut off one, two, well let me let me double check. Nope, we're gonna yeah, one, two, and three. All right, so whoops, what am I doing? One and two, all right, and then three, this one right here. Okay, now we're gonna take these right here, and let me, let me think, I've gotta make sure I get it right. You're gonna come in from the outside and cut that like that, all right? And then cut this one the same way like that. Now this last one over here, we're gonna cut it off. All right, so here is what your box looks like now. Down here, we're just going to snip these score lines like this and cut the corners off of two of them. It doesn't matter which two as long as it skips one in between. And there is what your final piece will look like. All right, now let's get some tear and tape on this box. I'm gonna put tear and tape along this long side right here. And you know what I think? Let's put our, our designer series paper on here before we put this all together. And I've got a different pattern from my main box. Um, these little strips are gonna go in each of these little sections, okay? So just take your seal, stamp and seal, and put those right along there. And then we're gonna fill them in. I think I want the pink at the top. Like that. There we go. Isn't that pretty? It's a rainbow. This looks like hand-painted paper. It probably was hand-painted paper that they replicated. There we go. All right, so now, um, over here on this side, we're gonna we're gonna fold this up like this. On this side right here, you want to get one of your smallest circle punches, 
and punch out just a half circle right there, okay? Also take your scissors, your snips, and cut off the corners from that one right there. Okay, now we are ready to adhere this finally. I'm gonna pull off that adhesive. And if you fold your box in half, those lines should line up perfectly. All right, so now the top part, we're just gonna fold in like this. Actually, let's see, you know what? I wasn't gonna cut the corners off of these, but I think maybe we should. I think it'll make it a little bit easier to get our, our little front part in. All right, so these, again, fold in, and then you just thread that in there. And that little hole, that little circle that you made is to help you open that. Now we're gonna fold these in, fold in your, uh, the ones that you made, you cut the corners off of first, and then use these other two to square up your box. And I'm just using seal for the ease of it for the video, but I would recommend using some um, tear and tape. Okay, now our box is ready to be decorated. Um, we need to make our cute little goose tag, but first I'm gonna take my ribbon. You know, let's put our eggs in here because it is so much easier to tie this up when it has something in it. All right, so now I am using some of our sparkle ribbon. We have new ribbon coming out that will match these colors um, in May. Our new catalog comes out. You'll be able to buy ribbon that matches these colors perfectly. Let's see if I can do this. Boy, I'm just having all kinds of issues, aren't I? All right, so tie this. This is gonna keep your box closed for sure. And it's just gonna be cute. I am struggling, there we go. All right, tie that up here at the top. Make sure your ribbon lays flat on both sides. I noticed my original, the ribbon is twisted in the back. You don't want that, you want it to lie flat. And then we'll cut these off here at an angle. All right, there is your long and skinny box. All right, we're gonna stamp our goose in memento black. And I love coloring with my Stampin' Blends, but these goose images make it really easy because really, he's mostly white. I'm gonna color that balloon, of course, with Berry Burst, which is that beautiful color on, that, on our paper. Um, we used the Berry Burst cardstock the first time. This time we used bubble bath, but you can use these colors interchangeably. Now I'm gonna take my bubble bath and color in his little party hat. Give him a little cheek there. And then take your pumpkin pie light. And color his feet. Now, one thing I like to do sometimes to make my images really pop is to take my light pool party and just go around the outside. This is going to create kind of a shadow and you want it to be really thin. So go slow. And this is going to just give him kind of dimension, make him feel like he's popping off the cardstock. You could do this also with a light gray. I really like the blue though. Blue kind of makes him look like he's glowing a little bit or something. There we go. All right, see how it just really makes him pop off. Now for our sentiment, I am going to, I've already cut a Berry Burst Stylish Shape Stitched Banner. And let's see if I can stamp this straight. Ideally guys, stamp first, die cut second. But for the sake of the video, I did it the opposite. And let's see, oh no, 
Hey, look at that. Sometimes I get it right. All right. Now, did I use the embossing buddy? I don't think I did. The embossing buddy will help keep your um, powder from getting into places where you don't want it. I can see I've got a little bit of powder there in between the Y and the G, but that's okay. So hit it with your heat tool. It takes about, I don't know, 10 seconds. And then grab your dimensionals. And put that right across there. Now bring your box back over. And we're going to sandwich that ribbon like that. And put that right in the middle. Maybe a little bit lower. And there you have it. A silly goose told me it's your birthday. Now these could be fun party favors. They could be... Um, birthday treats you keep in your desk at work to hand out to um, co-workers when it's their birthday. Or you can grab that stamp set and look at the other um, sentiments. Sending a big honk and thanks, sending gaggles of good wishes. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a birthday um, treat. All right, you guys, make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Hop back over to my blog. I've got a free PDF with the measurements and two other Silly Goose projects. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.